Welcome to Art Happy with Katie. We're gonna draw a lop-eared rabbit with shading. Here's a little rabbit picture I drew and I'm gonna show you how. I'm gonna do it with pencil and paper and an eraser, of course. This kind of bunny is called a lop-eared bunny because its ears are floppy. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna start here at the top of the head and I'm not going to go all the way to the top of my paper in case it turns out um, it's not the right size. I'm going to kind of sketch in on this one. I'm going to draw kind of a circle, but a little bit wider on the bottom. So I can kind of figure out. Then I'm going to look here on my drawing and see about the proportion. So however big I make the head, the body is about the same, and then the legs are about half of that amount. So if I go, here's the head. Here's the body, and the legs are about half. So I can go to there, there, and I've got some ideas of where things are gonna end up. So hopefully it won't get too far off. So now I'm gonna do some more details about the face. Now the face of this bunny is a little bit shaped like the bottom of a pear. It has kind of got a shallow U shape here and a shallow U shape there. And then it's coming up inside like that. It's got a little line underneath. That's going to be his little bottom lip. And now I'm going to come up here and draw his head. So I'm doing a line coming down, around, out a little bit. It's almost like an S. Then down and back up for a U shape. I'm going to do a similar thing on the other side. I'm going to come down, out, down, and then a U shape right up there. Now I'm going to erase some of my circle guidelines because I don't need them anymore. Erasing them is very important so my bunny will look real. Erase those circles. I don't want their, oops. I don't want there to be a circle up here on my bunny's little head. I don't know why I call it a bunny if it has lop ears and a rabbit if it has regular ears. Um, but so now I'm going to go here to where the top of the uh, the top of the ears are. I'm going to go go over a little bit and draw the eyes. Draw a circle here and a circle here. Now rabbits' eyes are very wide on their head. So are dogs. I think I made that one a little too far in. I'm going to widen it out. And I can think about how much distance is in between. The same amount of distance in between the eyes is the same amount as one cheek. One cheek goes up there. That looks good. Or I can measure the eyes and see how many eyes would fit in the middle. One, two, three. So I'm going to go over here. One. One, two, three. I'm going to bring this one over a little bit. It is good, if you can, to try to kind of mark out where you want things to be before you get into shading. Because then you don't spend a bunch of time shading something that you're going to end up having to erase. Now I'm going to go down a little ways and do the nose. The nose is just a V shape and then a line that comes down to that mouth. That looks cute. Now here from the ears, I think this ear looks a little thin. I'm gonna widen it a little bit. Now from this ear, I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna do this shape, sort of a C shape, and then come down for these feet. This kind of rabbit has stubby feet. Now here, between the legs, I'm going to draw the same V shape that I did on the nose. And I see a little guideline. I'm going to erase that right there. I don't need it anymore. Now this is coming here. I'm going to draw this foot. It comes up. It's kind of like a U shape, but it points out a little where that toe is. 
It just depends how the bunny's holding its foot that day. And every bunny's different. Just like every person is different. Um, now I'm going to draw kind of the back of the body. I'm going up to this part of the ear where there's this curve, which is next to the side of the cheek, kind of the middle of the cheek. And I'm doing a backward C shape. And then coming out for a foot. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Starting a little towards the bottom of the mouth, over here on the ear. I'm going to do a C shape. Then come out, and a foot. The foot is just kind of a U shape. Now, I'm going to start to try to cute it up a little bit. I'm going to make my edges less um, smooth because it's bunny. It's fuzzy and soft. So I'm just doing a zigzag, zigzag stroke up here, okay. and I'm going to come around. Now over here, I'm going to do a little bit of shading on this ear, and I'm going to do that sort of that zigzag on the side of his face. I'm going to do that there, a little bit of zigzag. around. Try to make it look more realistic. Now I'm going to darken a little bit near the mouth. I'm going to try to make the little chin a little fuzzy. Okay. Now I'm going to go up to the eyes. Now I'm going to try this darker pencil. This is this pencil is called an ebony and I think this pencil will just help me get a little darker a little sooner. Now when I'm doing circular eyes I try to do my lines in the same direction that the circle is because it helps it look more real that way. I'm not going to fill it in all the way. I'm going to leave a little bit of a highlight. Right about there. We'll see how that goes. I'm going to make this nose a little darker. I'm going to make it a little wider too. Cute. I'm liking it. Now the bunny seems to have some uh, eyelashes. Their faces are really kind of hairy, so you don't want it to look too smooth. Just kind of add some hairs everywhere, and it will look good. And got a little shading up here. A little shading around here. I'm not going to shade everywhere. I want it to look like a drawing. I don't want it to look super realistic. I want it to be a little sketchy. So this is kind of the style I'm going for on this. Um, got these ears. I've got a little more shading down here towards the bottom. So I'm just doing zigzag strokes. And I'm rabbit, so I don't know. I don't try to make them look too smooth. I kind of like my brush strokes to show, or my pencil strokes to show. But if you want it to be smooth, you can. You can just keep layering your shading. You can just do a little light scribble one way, and then do a little light scribble the other way, and they'll just end up making it look darker, but it'll be smooth if you do several different directions. Starting to look cute like a bunny. Now I'm going to do a little shading down here. I'm just going to do my line in the same direction as what I'm drawing. And on this side, I try to work the whole page before I get too far on one area. And this is just something I've gotten better at over the years. Um, but it helps. Because then if you have something about the shape that needs to change, you haven't 
spent too much time on it before you usually realize. And I want to do a little bit of shading down here so it looks like the bunny's not floating. The bunny could be sitting on some grass. That would be a good idea. Have some grass coming up here. And if you want to shade this with a color pencil, that would look awesome. Or you could do it with watercolor or marker or crayons, whatever you want. I'm just adding a little more shadows. Um, usually there's a little bit of shadows underneath the... Um, chin as the face comes out forward. And then we need to have some whiskers. The whiskers, I always start on the inside and try to lighten up my pencil as I go out. And it just kind of makes them look a little more real. And then they've always got some little dots around here. Maybe a little bit of shadow. A little bit of shadow up here. Adorbs. Oh, I can do a little right around the eyes here if I wanted to. I can make it kind of come to a little bit of a point. It depends on the angle, how much of a point you would see. That is pretty cute, I think. Cute little bunny. I totally want a rabbit. I don't know. I might have too many pets. Now remember, when you're done, to sign your name at the bottom of your paper. I sign mine over here. Thank you for watching Art Happy with Katie. I hope you love your bunny picture. You can keep shading it or you can leave it. Only you will know when you're totally done. If you want yours to look more sketchy or if you want it to look more smooth and finished, that is up to you. But subscribe and I will see you next time. Thank you.